I've been asked to talk more specifically about oxidation therapy and especially ultraviolet blood irradiation therapy. Virtually everything I tell you about this therapy, ultraviolet blood irradiation therapy, also is the same for intravenous hydrogen peroxide or ozone therapy. All of them are lumped together in a topic we call oxidation therapies and they all have very similar but not identical effects on the body. Many years ago, a, a scientist um, named Knott, K-N-O-T-T, -T, found that if he took a small amount of blood out of a person or an animal and irradiated it with ultraviolet C energy and gave it back to the organism, whether it was a dog or a human, infections would go away in hours. Sometimes even the patients were getting better in minutes. In hospitals, patients were dying of horrible infections, and this was before the age of antibiotics. And the effectiveness rate of this treatment in just usually one or two treatments was 50% for comatose patients, patients about to die, and 98 to 100% effective for moderately advanced infections or less advanced infections. It was found to be effective equally for viral disease like polio and uh, viral influenza, as well as bacterial infections. The treatment is done by taking approximately six ounces or perhaps seven ounces of blood from a patient and running it through an ultraviolet light and then giving it back to the patient. Uh, this also can be done with ozone. If it's done with intravenous hydrogen peroxide, a small amount of peroxide is given over a slow drip intravenously. These treatments are exceptionally safe. The American literature back in the 1940s reviewed thousands of cases and never found a single, influ a, a single case of a bad or toxic effect in patients. And we compare that to drugs today when the fourth leading cause of death in the United States is doctor-induced injury, usually due to drugs. These treatments were found to treat staph, including drug-resistant staph, pneumonia, Worldwide literature, even today, coming out of Russia, suggests it can be used for tuberculosis. The treatment helps by activating the white blood cells to kill bacteria. Also, by taking perhaps the seven ounces of blood out of the patient, we expose it to ultraviolet light, and the ultraviolet light inactivates the bacteria that are in the blood. These, the blood is then given back to the patient, and the immune system sees the inactivated bacteria and can mount a much better immune response. It's like an auto vaccine for the patient of the very thing that's causing the problem. German literature shows that these treatments increase mitochondrial production of ATP, which is energy, the most critical thing for the body to function. It improves clotting parameters, making the blood less viscous, so you're less likely to clot and have a circulation problem. They lower blood pressure. They raise oxygen delivery to the tissues. They improve cholesterol metabolism, uric acid metabolism, and, and especially the oxygen delivery to the body. Platelets don't stick together so much, and one of the causes of heart disease is platelet stickiness. The Russians are using these therapies, especially ultraviolet therapy, to help patients with vascular disease with great success. There is a book written by William Campbell Douglas called Into the Light. I strongly recommend that you get that book. It is available. It's in print and it details the American experience in this therapy of 40 and 50 years ago. The treatment is making a resurgence today. There are hundreds of doctors doing the treatment now. I teach it at conferences around the country, and I'm really happy to tell you that uh, ultraviolet and ozone are probably my most favorite treatments to do because they have apparently a complete lack of toxicity. The patients do exceptionally well. It is very useful for a variety of diseases from circulation problems to infection to chronic fatigue and fibromyalgia simply because of the beneficial effect that the therapy has on the metabolic processes of the body. It improves enzyme processes, it kills unwanted bacteria, it improves 
oxygen and it improves circulation parameters, all virtually risk-free.